So once you have completed the never ending line, um, like you saw in the first video, uh, I want you to then color it in uh, however you choose in a way that's going to look good. So we don't want it to be done just to complete it um, or to rush it. You need to show me that you've slowed down and you've taken some time to um, figure out how you can do this in a way that's going to be most visually successful. So this example is one really great easy way to do that. Um, and so basically it's just coloring in the positive space that you have created by doing this never-ending line. So um, if I kind of look at this one, you might be able to see it a little bit easier. But as you've created this never-ending line, you've created some shapes, right? We can see some shapes and we can sort of identify where maybe now we have some um, empty space or negative space. So if you just fill in that positive space with color, you'll make that very clear to the viewer where the positive space is and where the empty or negative space is. And that can make your piece look really interesting. Um, you can see here that there are transitions from one color to another, so kind of like careful slow gradients. This is done in oil pastels. So if you have oil pastels, go ahead and use something like that. If you want, they're really soft and they're easy to blend and they're fun. Uh, you could use chalk pastels if you have those, um, but you could also use crayons. Okay, Crayons are not as easy to blend with your finger, but you can blend them slowly by layering colors on top of each other and it can make for a really beautiful gradient um, in a slow, beautiful transition from one color to another. You could do that with colored pencils too. Um, and you don't even have to make it like a rainbow like this. You could make it a limited color palette, where, which would mean you might choose maybe two or three colors that you transition between throughout your composition. So maybe it's just um, yellow, orange, and red. So you're just going to use a bunch of warm colors and go fill in your piece that way. Um, maybe you just want to do um, values of, you know, black and white. And maybe in the background you fill that with one solid color. That could make for a really cool effect. So think about the colors that you choose to use and how you choose to fill in your spaces. This is another really cool example of how you could make your composition more interesting. You can see that um, this person traced some circles with maybe some sort of a household object like we've done before. And then within that circle, just um, filled in uh, different variations of one color. So here the circle is assigned to the color orange. So in some areas it's light orange, in some areas it's red orange, in some areas it's just straight dark orange. Um, and you get some variety within that circle and it looks pretty cool. So you could, do, you could even make uh, draw your name in bubble letters over top of this whole thing and fill them in in the same way. So I would love to see you be creative on how you choose to complete this um, never ending line composition. So let's see what you come up with.